One of the main focuses of Canada's election campaign today was racism, and reform leader Preston Manning was on the defensive. Manning says reform has a process to screen its candidates carefully, and he's ordered an investigation to find out how a man who's accused of racism won a nomination to run for the party. CTV's Mark Sextum picks up the story from the Manning campaign in Edmonton. Are... For a party dogged by charges of racism, it couldn't have been worse. Because that's a real embarrassment. Tom. The cause of Preston Manning's discomfort is John Beck, who until yesterday was a Reform Party candidate in Toronto, a candidate who believes Canada is accepting far too many immigrants. No, I feel that we have a real problem here. I, I feel that the Gentile people are on attack. All reform candidates are encouraged to fill out a 42-page questionnaire that probes their backgrounds and their views on racism and discrimination. Beck says he answered the questionnaire and the party accepted it. Well, if he did, we don't know where it is. It certainly didn't come here. This was one of these weaker ridings that was desperate to get a candidate because we were pressing them so hard and it looks like they did a whole bunch of short circuits of our screening process. So we're, we're looking into seeing how that happened. Manning says reform does not tolerate members or candidates with extremist views and it quickly demanded Beck's resignation. But the incident has added fuel to fears that the party may harbor other extremists. We are nervous, we are afraid, and the Reform Party is the emergence of the Nazi Party as it is happening in many imperial countries. Manning says Beck was just one bad apple in the barrel, but the fact he was nominated raises questions about the screening process, and that alone will make it more difficult for Manning to defend reform as a party that does not tolerate racist or extremist views. Mark Sixstrom, CTV News, Calgary.